Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we will add the Firebase dependencies which we need for our app and also we are going to go ahead and design the layout of our main activity. So let's first go to tools and let's go to Firebase and here we are going to need two things. The first one is that we need the real time database. So in here let's select the real time database. So let me just quickly go ahead and connect to Firebase. And we're also going to go ahead create a new project which is going to be called Aschat application. So let me connect to Firebase and also we will add the real time database to our app. So once that thing is added, we are also going to add an authentication. And once that thing is done, we are quickly going to go and create our main layout. So it's actually going to take a while for this thing to load up. So after that, let's add the real time database dependencies as well. And once this thing is done, we will go back and add the authentication as well. So let's go to Firebase. Let's go to authentication, more info, and it's actually going to open up Firebase a window for us over here. We don't need to read it right now. So we'll quickly go ahead and set up the authentication over here by clicking on add Firebase authentication add the dependencies and also you need to make sure that you add the dependency for the recycler view as well so here what we do is that we go to project structure go to app dependencies add the dependency library dependency recycler view click on this icon and add the dependency for recycler view so once this thing is added, let's go ahead and start creating the layout for the main activity. So right now this is what the main activity actually looks like. So let's remove the text view from here. Let this thing be a relative layout for now. And first thing which we do is that we remove margins from all the sites because we don't actually need them. Now the next thing which we will do is that we will create a linear layout over here. So that's going to be linear layout. So let me set up linear layout. That's going to be having the width as match parent and the height as wrap content. And this is going to actually have the orientation as horizontal. So this linear layout is going to be at the bottom over here. So here we will align the layout to the bottom. So we'll type in align parent bottom and set it equal to true. And once this thing gets aligned at the top bottom, here we are going to create a recycler view above the layout. So we'll add in recycler view. So the width for this recycler view is going to be match parent and the height is going to be match parent as well. So we'll quickly add that thing up. And as you could see now we have our recycler view over here. So now the next thing which you need to do is that you also need to make sure that the recycler view is above the linear layout. So right now the ID of this linear layout is nothing. So let's set it up over here. So the ID is going to be at plus ID linear layout and the recycler view is going to be about that so that's going to be layout above at plus id that's going to be linear layout so once this thing is done that is the recycler view is done we are actually going to go ahead and add all the items to this recycler view that is we are going to add all the messages which are going to be displayed into this particular recycler view so that the user is able to scroll through each and every message so here we are going to set the id of this recycler view and let's say that's going to be message rec as message recycler view and to this linear layout right here we are going to add in an edit text so that the user is able to type his own message so we'll type in edit text over here. Let's say that's going to be match parent and wrap content. Or let's say the width is going to be 300 dps instead of match parent because we also have to set up a button over here. So make sure to leave a space for that. So we'll quickly go ahead and add a button with the width as let's say wrap content and wrap content. And let's set up an ID for both of these. So this one is actually going to have an ID which says something like edit message and this one is going to have an on click which is going to say something like send button clicked and also let's include some text over here so we'll type in text that's going to say something like send so as you could see now our layout looks pretty much ready so here we have our recycler view which is going to display messages here we are having the edit text for entering the message and here we have our send button so that the user could actually go ahead and send the message so now the next thing which we do is that we go ahead and go to the main activity over here and we want to design a logic for what happens when we click this particular button 
So what we essentially want to do is that we want to extract the values from the edit text, which is this edit text right here. And firstly, we want to display it into the database. So once the values are successfully added to the database, we could go ahead and retrieve those values and display it into the recycler view. So here what we will do is that we will go ahead and first get a reference to the edit text. So that's going to be private edit text. That's going to be edit message and after that let's create a database reference so private database reference let's say that's going to be m database so m database over here and after that in this on create method right here let's type in edit message equals that's going to be nothing but edit text find view by id r dot id dot that's going to be edit message and I guess the name of both of the, these things is going to be the same. So this should actually be something else. So you could actually go ahead and change this thing to something else. So edit message E. So you could change the ID over here because I don't want to mess things up. Okay. So once this thing is done, let's also get a reference to the database. So M database is going to be equal to that's going to be firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child which we are creating there is going to be called as messages and once we have this child set up we are almost good to go so now the final thing which you need to do is that you need to handle the on click method associated with this particular button which is send button clicked so we will type in public void send button clicked it's going to have a view so we'll type view view over here so once this thing is done what we want to do is that we want to go ahead and check if the message value is not empty so we'll first extract the value into a string named as message value so message value is going to be equal to edit text or edit message dot get text dot to string dot trim so once this thing is trimmed, we check for the emptiness that the message is not empty. So we will type in if not text utils dot is empty and check for the emptiness of the message value. So if this is not empty, we want to insert the value into the database. So we will type in final database reference. That's going to be, let's say new post for posting new thing. We are going to name this as new post equals that's going to be m database dot push and after this what we will do is that we will type new post dot child and this message is only going to have a content for now and later we are going to add in the username as well so for now we are going to name the child as content and we are going to set its value equal to the message value and once this thing is done we are good to go so now what we will do is that we will save the code and run the app so as to check if the value is actually entered into the database. But even before that, you need to open up the Firebase console. And in here, you actually need to go into your project. So let me just refresh this thing and hopefully we should have our project over here. So I'm going to go to chat application and I'm going to set the database rules equal to null for now so i'm going to quickly go ahead go here and set this equal to null and this one equal to null as well simply click publish and then i'm going to run this application on my phone so as you could see the application is up and running on the screen so let me just open up the firebase window as well so as to check if the message is actually entered over here so right now it's showing nothing so let me just type in hello over here and when i hit the send button as you could see the message is added over here which is having this unique id and the content says hello and let's say i type something like hello friends and when i hit send as you could see a new value again gets added to the database that means we are basically successful in adding the message to the database so in the next lecture what we will do is that we will go ahead and learn how to retrieve those values and display them in the layout which we have created so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.